All right, welders, welcome back to our grill build. This is part four. I'm Paul. Thanks for joining me. Today we're starting out by putting a little uh, one eighth inch cap on the end of this two inch square tubing that's going to go into the class three hitch receiver. Again, we're using the, uh, the flux core process here. Uh, nothing much to it. This is pretty simple. That piece is cut about a sixteenth of an inch smaller all around than the outside diameter of the tubing so it's going to give me a nice little lip uh, or a shelf if you have it to put the weld in I'm going to tack it down and then we will just weld it out nothing to it but to do it We're going to cut out some uh, gussets for the grill support using the plasma cutter here. I'm using a uh, 30 amp pipe tip from George's Plasma Cutter Shop. And I'm freehanding this. I'm not the best at it, but um, these are going to get uh, ground flat and smooth anyway. So I'm just cutting a little bit outside the lines and, you know, there's really no problems. ready to weld the uh, one inch square tube support on I'm using two uh, magnets at a 90 degree angle to each other and that'll keep this plumb in two directions so that it is plumb and square all the way around then we'll tack in the corners and we will weld it out If you can get all the way around something on a weld like this, you'll be better off. But I couldn't quite reach all the way around it, so we're going to have a couple starts and stops. Make sure when you're dealing with flux core that you clean off the flux coating before you lay down another weld. That way you'll have a good tie-in and you won't get any cold left. Okay, I already have the gussets uh, tacked on here. What I'm doing is I'm welding each of them on each side with the flux core process. And when you do this, you want to weld from the outside to the inside. All right, now we're getting ready to uh, fit on the one and a quarter inch vertical tube to the two inch horizontal tube for our grill support. And we're just using uh, the magnet to hold everything nice and plumb. All right, for this weld, we're gonna use a 332nd uh, 7018 low hydrogen rod. And we'll tack it and we'll weld it out. This is gonna be run at 
just over 80 amps, about 81 amps. I like to run my 7018 330 seconds at right around 90 amps, but for this uh, thin wall square tubing, I get to keep the amperage down a little so I don't burn through it. And we're going to put a gusset on here. It's probably not all that necessary, but uh, better to not need it and have it than to need it and not have it, right? All right, here we're going to weld on a back cap on the back of this tubing and it also has a small vertical riser that is going to be um, welded to the back of the vertical support tube and that's just going to give us a little bit of extra support. We're using flux core for this. We'll tack it in a few places and then we'll weld it out. We'll grind and polish everything nice and smooth. There's even going to be a little bit of hammer work here because I want that upright piece to fit nice and tight uh, against that vertical one and a quarter inch square tubing. I always like to cap off any pieces of square tube or round tube or pipe. It just gives everything a nicer finished look. But I decided with this one I'm not only going to cap it, but I'm going to extend the cap up to the back of this piece. Again, it's probably overkill, but uh, you'll never know it's there and you'll never have to complain that this thing bent either. All right, here is a test fit up. Give you guys a look at how the grill is uh, coming together. Personally, I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, the entry is open at onlinemetals.com, so you can enter to win. It won't cost you anything. Just fill out the little form, and you could be tailgating with this pretty cool grill. One part left. We'll finish it up. I'll see you then. Now get out of here.